Hello Pisces, how are you? Welcome to your monthly May 2017 love reading. Actually, let me sorry, fix that. <laughs> okay. Um, let's kind of just get started. I've already prepared the decks, so let's just dive right in. Hero of Wands, Garden Reversed, it's like the world. Hmm. I didn't realize my camera was so far off. Um, so I'm trying to think here because I'm getting three court cards, well four court cards, but mostly these. We're getting actually kind of one of each suit, cups, wands, coins, swords. So there's a lot of different energies kind of flying around you. You are in the center. So now you're this hero of wands. Which, which is the fire, the fire energy, right? King of fire. Strong, determined, focused, um, big picture. It's a really powerful place to be. And to be honest, we've had a lot of junk going on. And I've, I've addressed this in every uh, reading. We've done the Venus retrograde a couple months ago. We just got out of Mercury retrograde. We still have Jupiter and Saturn, and I think there's like Pluto or something else, and we've got, I mean, there's just a lot going on. And we're finally starting to feel that back wind, I believe, of forward motion. And you seem to have this really beautifully aggressive um, take charge not going to deal with that bullshit anymore. Excuse me, pardon my language, but you're not going to deal with it anymore. And uh, that's a really encouraging place to be. The problem is, now a little bit on the negative side, but not too much. The, the problem is, is this garden in reverse because the garden or the world, you might be trying to take too much control because it's one of those things where the more and more control you try to take, the more and more likely it is to not happen kind of thing. And now we have Mars in Gemini right now. And so it is that energy of wanting to do, 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 and get everything done and, and go from here to here to here to here. And there's just like, there's a whole bunch of moving pieces. And the more and more we try to push, the more and more it seems like things are a little bit out of our reach. Now the Artisan of Cups in the reversal is kind of interesting. This is the card of Pisces. So you've got this sort of duality happening. Because on the outside and on the surface, which is what a king is all about, a king is all about, you know, outward projection. It's a masculine energy as opposed to the queen, which are the feminine influence. And it is that's why I think you've got this whole going, going, going thing. But emotionally and deep down, I think there's still a lot of healing that needs to be done. So you have the fire and water. You have the opposites here. Fire, King, Hero of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. Be careful of your vices and the things that you do or the things that you use to help with pain and sadness. Okay, I'm just going to say that once. And, and so if you do drink or rely on alcohol, because it is a cups, it's not the king of cups, so it's not that bad, but if, if you do, just be cognizant of your intake, that's all I'm going to say. And, uh, but emotionally, I think you are having a hard time handling it, and you may be repressing emotions just a little bit too much uh, for the sake of accomplishment, which there's nothing wrong with that because sometimes our emotions do get in the way of productivity. So the fact that you have this productive type of 
vibe is really, like I said in the beginning, it's really encouraging, it's really positive, and you might be one of the only signs in the zodiac that's got that going on right now. So take advantage of it, but don't forget to address what's going on. I feel like there is someone in your life, I've got the, the Hero of Swords, just like the King of Swords, you have your energy sort of directed toward them, and, and I think that they do have compassion for you as well. So, but they are going to just let you live your life. They're not going to try to control your life. They're not going to try to influence you. And if you're in a marriage, it can be a little bit of a standoffish, hands-off approach to love and compassion. And it may be difficult for you to really understand because you may be hurting, right? You've got the Eight of Cups in the reversal, which means you're having a hard time moving on. You may be on the outside, yes, everything's good, yes, I'm, I'm soldiering on, no problem, no questions asked, this is all happening, go, 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 go. But at the end of the day, at night, when your head hits that pillow, you have this whole secret world going on inside of you. And it's been a tough run. It's been tough. And, uh, and I think you're still finding it difficult to, to release. I'm not going to say let it go because it shapes who we are. And it is important, you know, these emotional things that we go through. What, for some of you, it's a breakup. For some of you, it's a, a um, you know, an argument or an issue. For some of you, it's like dating and dating and dating and not finding anybody. And it and it hurts, right? And it is and it is something that we we can't just forget. That's why I'm saying release it. Um, it doesn't mean it doesn't become part of who you are, but it doesn't have to define who you are. You know what I mean? Um, I see you so eager and so anxious to manifest new things into your life with the Three of Wands. I love this Three of Wands because she's wearing red. And, you know, it is manifesting the things that we are passionate about. So passionate about a person, passionate about a family. I often do see this as, like, with couples, uh, like getting on the same page and finding a, a future direction, right? And, and not operating in conflicting ways, you know? It's important for couples to run parallel. If they're running perpendicular to each other, there's going to be a problem, right? Or a skew that it's going to be down the road somewhere. Eventually, you're going to con conflict. And... Now, I don't necessarily see that this was the person that caused you pain. This pain, this sadness, whatever it was, could be of an external influence. It could be career, finance, you know, maybe someone passed away in your life, or child problems, you found out someone had an addiction pro whatever. I mean, it's a whole gamut of stuff that could be causing you a lot of pain and sadness. Whether this person was the cause or not, I don't necessarily see that they want to continue to be the cause, but they might not really be loving you in the way that you need to be loved either, right? They are seeing you as this hero of coins, and therefore they are just like, okay, well, I'm here to help, whatever you need. So they're putting the ball in your court, and you're being really courageous and saying, I don't need your help, I can do this on my own, I don't need your whatever, you do. <laughs> I think secretly you want it, okay? secretly you want that, that offer to be made because I, I do feel that you are a little bit afraid of taking the, the leap, right? Here you are, Hero of Wands, putting on a big front. Here you are taking that big leap, okay? Gonna freaking make stuff happen, but then you have the Fool and you're like, ah, oh, this is in the reversal. You're like, ah, oh, nope. Because the garden hasn't completed, the world hasn't completed its revolution yet, it hasn't finished. So you can't really make a new start when the, the old hasn't been wrapped up yet. And you're still hanging on to that old, that old world a little bit. Again, this is the, kind of the clash between the old world and the new world. Now, the devotee of coins, or the page of coins, does speak to truth and authenticity. And again, I love the red 
the red signifying passion and love. And what she's doing in this card, I had to read the description. She's leaving an offering, a bouquet of roses, to the Venus statue in the corner there. Venus, the goddess of love, you know. And by leaving the offering, she is expressing that that is something that she wants and that she is willing to, to leave an offering for that. And uh, it's almost kind of like ritualistic, you know. You need to be honest with what it is you want. You need to be honest and, and have the, the courage and the strength to communicate what it is you want. I feel that your partner would be receptive, but they're not going to ask you. Right? They're not going to play that game of, let's say this, they're not going to allow you to play the passive-aggressive game. Okay, You can maybe play the passive-aggressive game, but they're not going to participate. I'm not necessarily seeing anger or frustration or any antics, really. It might be something you're doing subconsciously. But if that is kind of the behavior that's going on, and you're not getting what you need, it's important for you to be direct. Because I'm kind of seeing you, like let's do this, okay? I'm seeing you taking your horse and leaping in the opposite direction from the Hero of Swords. But you, the person, the man, the hero, is looking towards. So you're operating in two different directions. And you've got a little bit of two different sides here. So there's that push-pull between what it is you want. Um, again, passive-aggressive types of energies because you want this person to just know and to just be compassionate. Now, I'm not saying all of you are, you know, playing this little game. Again, it's, it's not like, um, I don't think you're really aware because I think you really do want to be strong and you really, want to, you really do want to be the one that is um, over it or you, you want to be the one that's not bothered by it anymore. You know what I mean? The Hermit in the reversal, it speaks well to the Fool and the Garden in reverse as well. And the reason is, is because I don't think you've really defined a future yet because you're still, you've still got lingering, festering types of energies. You're still hanging on to something in the past. And that's okay, because that has to come in time, right? The healing from that and the acceptance of that does need to come in time, and there's really not a lot that you can do to control it. The problem is, is that you're trying to control it. It's so important for you to take a back seat and to acknowledge what this Artisan of Cups or this Knight of Cups is really telling you, which is, I'm hurting. I'm sad about something. I need assistance. I need attention. I think you do need attention from your partner or if you're dating, like you really want someone. You want someone that really loves you. Now, if you're not in a relationship, obviously that's going to be hard for you to get right now. If you are in a relationship, I think your partner will be receptive, but you have to tell them what you need because they're not interpreting your little mixed signals. And there are mixed signals, fire and water, they're opposite and they're totally different and they don't mix well. So inside you've got water, outside you've got fire, and this person can only see the fire. So you need to show them the water in order for them to, to know what to do. And they'll graciously do it. You have to show your cards. This needs to be a transparent, like, like I say, authenticity is important. Whoa, okay, we got this one popping out. Seven of Swords reversed. The games, right? The games being over. You're no longer at a place of self-sabotage. You, you, you've kind of worked that stuff out. You're not trying to keep anything from anyone. Like I said, you might just be doing it unconsciously and not aware that you're doing it because you want to be strong. I think there is that true desire for you to soldier on and power through, and that's beautiful. But if you're not ready, then you're not ready. You know, and I, I think that a lot of you aren't ready. I'm seeing that with the garden and the fool and the reversal, even the hermit, right? Like I was saying, you haven't defined a future yet. Um, so now is a really good time to really think about what you want your future to be. Action for the sake of acting is not productive and it could be, you know, wasted efforts if you're not careful. 
The Eight of Swords reversed, happy it's reversed. Page of Wands, Artisan of Coins, Knight of Coins, Ten of Cups, Five of Wands, Four of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Shipwreck or the Tower. Um, look, there's truth here for you. Communication is blocked. Now normally when the Page of Wands comes out in the traditional deck, I see it as open communication or receiving messages. However, with the image betrayal here, I do feel like there's blocked communication and that blockage is coming from you. So it's really up to you to open the doors. You are the Page of Wands. You are in control of the doors. This person, whoever it is, I mean, they're so dutiful. They will do right by you. Now, if you are in a relationship with someone, that is them fulfilling their end of the bargain. And once you communicate with them, they will do what it takes. They will do what is necessary. They, are, they honor you. They respect you. If you're broken up with someone, now I don't necessarily know that your ex is going to come back. Okay? I'm not necessarily seeing that type of energy. But I think if there are residual or lingering issues, they're not going to leave you in the dust, right? They're going to get off your phone plan properly, you know, if you're on a, a lease together, they're not just going to screw you over with the lease. Like, they'll, they'll do what they need to do to really reach that point of closure, because I think they want it too. Um, if you're just dating, and you communicate to these people that you're dating what it is you want from dating, you're going to filter them out. And you're going to find someone that has no interest in playing games. Five of Wands reverse. Like, I feel that if you're totally single, there is someone in your life that would make a really quality partner for you. You know, if you're looking, there's someone there, or someone maybe coming, artisan of coins, likely an earth or an air sign I'm seeing. Um, this is the card of Aquarius, but could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This is actually the card of Virgo. So, you know, really could have or really go two different ways. Um, geez, I, I'm sorry, I'm really not realizing that my camera is not, not paying attention. Something. <sighs> Watch me mess this whole thing up. Whoa. Whatever, I'm almost done. Just leave, <laughs> leave it like that. Sorry, guys. Um, Anyway, so there is someone there, and, okay, sorry, I had to cut because my camera, I was, didn't realize it was cutting off. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, I want to speak to the Ten of Cups. I think there is something around the corner for you, but you need to turn that corner first. The Eight of Swords, sorry, something scared me. The Eight of Swords um, speaks to breaking free. And that's what I mean by that shattering of illusions, right? There's, there's no more delusions to live in. There's no more of like, okay, I had this idea in my mind and I was working so hard, 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 hard. Some of you may be, my friend said this to me, she's a Pisces, she's gonna appreciate this. Um, you're no longer chasing rainbows. And, uh, Hopefully, you know, that means something to you. I know it's, it's going to mean something to her. Um, but you're not chasing rainbows anymore. You're breaking free of that. And uh, by breaking free, you are going to find a way to attain happiness, Ten of Cups. And... Uh, a definition of happiness may have changed over the course of the past few months. For some of you, it's just peace. For some of you, it is finding a partner. For others of you, it is being on the same page as your partner. For some of you, it's, you know, moving into the next realm of your relationship. Whatever stage you're at, it's going to speak to you in different ways, but it's ultimate success in what it is you want. But you had to break through this first. 
you had to have these illusions come crashing down, otherwise you would be stuck in illusions. And none of us really want to be stuck in illusions. We want to accept reality for what it is, but it's really hard to do sometimes. It's really hard to say, okay, the person that I'm with or the circumstance in which I find myself, like I thought it was gonna be one way, it's totally different and I'm not just gonna fight for it because I fought for it in the past. I'm going to release this and I'm not going to fight so hard anymore or I am going to change my direction, I am going to change my ideal. Now what's great about having the Four of Cups underneath all of this and right next to the Ace of Swords is the emotional selectivity. Like this is a card of emotional maturity. You're not just going to hop into something because it feels good, you're not just going to do something because it feels good, which may be a little bit contrary to what's happening with the Hero of Wands right now. Because like I said, you're just doing, doing, doing. That's the Mars and Gemini really taking over, taking control, despite a lot of the emotional stuff that you are still left to deal with and the kind of aftermath of everything. But the Four of Cups tells me that once you've reached this reality or as you are approaching this reality, you are, okay, I need to decide, but I'm not going to rush into anything. I'm not going to allow myself to feel pressured into making a life decision. I'm just going to take my time and when something feels right, I'll know. And having faith that you will know, because you will, you will know. That's what the Ace of Swords is all about. Remember the element of honesty here as well. If you need something from your partner, you need to talk about it. And you cannot expect them to just know. They're not Superman, they're not, well, Superman doesn't even read thoughts, but they're not like, I don't know, some fictional character that reads thoughts, I don't know. <laughs> but they're not that person, they're not that thing. They are human, and they need to be communicated to, because as far as they know, everything is maybe fine, and they're seeing you doing all this great stuff, and they're like, oh, that person is total rock star. They're, you know, doing their thing and being successful doing so, and that's great. Um, and the shipwreck I love. This and the Ace of Swords are so beautiful together. The reason why I love the shipwreck is because it means a significant pivotal point. And it's something that the universe demands. That you are no longer going to be where you are. And the universe is going to smack you back on track and get you right back where you were supposed to happen. Can it be hard? Yes. Can it be like a cold hard dose of reality? Yes, it can. Does it mean that your emotions will be shattered? Yes, it does, you know? Or your ideals will be shattered? Yes, it does. It's like the crashing of the ivory tower. All of a sudden, you're left to rebuild. But that rebuild is so exciting. And it's something to be excited about. And you should be excited about. Because you have a blank slate. Or you will have a blank slate. This shipwreck is the turning point of the garden and the turning point of the fool where the back wind of the universe is like, okay, now you can move forward and it's going to feel like, I always feel like it's like lighter than air. It's really hard when you're going through it, but when you're on the other side of it, it's like whoosh. And everything just kind of happens and falls into place just perfectly. Um, will it happen tomorrow? No, likely not. Will it happen next week? I don't know, maybe for some of you. Likely it's going to be over the next month or so when things kind of start to really take shape or take form. But it is really positive developments for you in the realm of love. And for those of you who are single, it's like you need to get past this ideal that you have before someone can be introduced. I often see the tower in love as love coming into our lives. It's not traditionally the meaning, but it does represent a lifestyle change sometimes. And when you have a lifestyle change, usually, you know, when you have someone important come into your life, they change your life, you know? And so it has positive implications too. It's not always so dark and dramatic. There's really beautiful things associated with that. And I love that they chose a shipwreck as opposed to the tower, right? Because you see three beautiful women, their ship is in ruins in the back, getting tossed at sea. And they're on this, what, 
I always see like a Caribbean paradise, right? People coming to the new world are in this paradise and they have the opportunity to create a new life. It's different. It's going to be different, but it's going to be great, you know? So that's it for you, Pisces. I hope um, it resonated for you or provided a little bit of insight. I really wish you nothing but the best. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much. Bye.